As New Mexico celebrates 110 years this year, KOAT is celebrating Roswell, the city named for the father of the first postmaster. And the New Mexico Military Institute is a foundation of early Roswell. It has offered cadets a new way of life, all thanks to a strict education and lots of discipline. Brianna Albizu learns more about their unique tradition, now more than a century old, and why it continues to be so successful. A prestigious school right in the heart of downtown Roswell. We're a preparatory high school and a junior college, so six year spectrum of education. Since 1891, the New Mexico Military Institute has provided a strong program focused on education, leadership and self improvement. You learn to get yourself up in the morning, you learn to dress, you learn to clean your room, you learn to organize your time so that your studies are done. The school is actually more than 20 years older than the state of New Mexico, though you might not be able to tell at first. When it comes to the school, history plays a big part. This building was actually the first erected barrack for cadets. It was built in 1909, and you can really tell from the bricks here. Now, as you can see, it's a little red on this side, but as you get further up, it gets a lot lighter. It really shows you just how much they built over the past century. The way you say new start is, is really what it is. You know, it, it, it takes a lot of sacrifice. Throughout the school year, cadets are met with a strict schedule from early morning formation to late night study hall. Like Charles Noel, the California native said he made his own decision to attend the school and hasn't looked back since. Just wanted to change in my life. You know, I wasn't really doing anything. I was just wasting potential. So I, I decided to make a, a bold change and come here. Neither has Barbara Getz, who's from Brazil. She said her growth as an adult has been night and day. I change a lot, like my leadership skills, my uh, behavior, everything gets so better now. This year, both the high school and graduating class for their junior college average a 3.2 GPA. And while some cadets join the military after graduation, 95% of them choose to expand their education even further. This past year, we had eight direct entries into all the service academies. We have students in Ivy League schools, we have students really go wherever they want to. Megan Byers is a proud alumna. She attended the Institute from 2010 to 2016 after falling in love with the campus. She also came from the Mescalero Apache Reservation. I had applied and came and did the interview and I got in. It was something I wanted to be a part of. Byers now works as a teacher in Hobbs but she still makes time to visit her old stomping grounds. There are so many memories and you meet people that you that just stick with you for life. You know, you meet lifelong friends, um, people that become family. Um, the culture here is very inclusive and you learn to support one another. A place she hopes everyone can consider an experience for a chance at a better and brighter future. You know, I never thought I could get in and I got in and six years later, there I was, you know, and it gives you that upper hand in life, you know, that you know you can be successful no matter what you do. For Celebrate New Mexico, I'm Brian Albizu.